this isn't happening again. It's gonna be hard work now, I'm gonna tell you. It's not gonna be easy. If you got thin skin, it may be rough for you. Cause this is not Notre Dame football, we know that. But we got guys that care. We got guys that have big hearts that are willing to, to do what's ever necessary to win football games here. Last season after the USC loss, you walked in the locker room, you delivered a message. What was it? That the rebuild or the retooling needed to begin right now. So players that, that didn't want to be part of what was going to be uh, a difficult um, few months needed to evaluate uh, whether they wanted to be part of this. What do you think the outside expectations were of this program entering the season? External. He's lost control of the team. You know, they're probably not going to have a good year and he's going to get fired. Probably some kind of narrative like that. I think that that comes with the territory of being the head coach at Notre Dame. I, as the head coach, did not live up to the standards of what Notre Dame football should be. After the win against Michigan State, some of the world saw a side of you that perhaps they'd never seen before. What did they see? Somebody that coaches 18 to 21 year olds and had not built those kinds of relationships in some time uh, to the manner that he should have. Now my dancing is still not very good, but they didn't care. All they cared about was Coach is with us, and he's part of this. Your focus and physicality that took it to USC, your rival, and beat them in the fashion that you did today. Today was total dominance. Congratulations. What was the message you delivered after beating them this season? Let's act like we've been there before so we can get back to where we want to be. I've got to continue to embrace something that's really hard, and that is the grind, the preparation, the hard work, um, week in and week out, and, and get paid, if you will, from a playoff standpoint at the end of the season, instead of the pats on the back and being told how good you are. This isn't gonna be the cap to this season. This isn't going to be the pinnacle to this season. There's too much in front of us, too many things. So act like you've been there before and that you're going to be at bigger events in the upcoming yes, weeks. Yes, sir. Rockney, Leahy, Ara, Holtz, Kelly. What do those men understand about this that we can? Uh, Notre Dame uh, is no better than any other institution, but you're shopping down a different aisle. And all of those coaches knew what was down this aisle. What do you mean? All of those coaches did an incredible job of brokering the assets that are here at Notre Dame. Coach Kelly is um, a little slow on the uptick, but um, he gets it much better this year.